Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Students, we are going to have a discussion on the previous year 2022 questions asked in CGL examinations. We are here to make you prepare to help you prepare for the examination that is to come in 2023 let us come to question number 1 of the day part 3 indirect to direct you are given a sentence in the indirect speech and you are asked to change it into a direct one for this you are given four options out of which one is the right option and you have to find it out select it let us read that indirect speech he asked me when i had booked the flight tickets now pay attention to the reporting verb asked in the direct it must be said to and you see in all the options you have he said to me he said to me he said to me and he said to me so this part is correct in all the options then comma in order commas yet you have these things in all the options when i had booked this first person i has come because the orv is in the first person me so in the direct it must be you that is the second person because the second person changes as per the orv object to the reporting verb and you have you in all the options then come to the form of the sentence in the indirect speech the question is in the order of subject plus verb whereas in the direct one it must be in the order of verb plus subject verb plus subject verb plus subject verb plus subject subject plus verb to sabse pehle ise aap you should eliminate option number 4 now we have to examine only three options 1 2 3 now the tense is i had booked the past perfect in the direct it should be either present perfect or past indefinite because when the reporting verb is past the present perfect or the past indefinite of the direct speech changes to the past perfect now let us examine option number 1 do this is eliminated because present indefinite tense number 2 he said to me when did you book correct one number 3 when are you we do not get any option in the present perfect tense so the right option is number 2 number 3 is eliminated that is past indefinite tense so he said to me when did you book the flight tickets how easy it is to find out the right option provided you follow the concept of english grammar properly before going ahead please subscribe the channel like the video and share it let us come to question number 2 regarding common error the given sentence if the economy fails adverb clause in the present indefinite tense this year what will happen that is of the future time context it reflect badly on the government here the tense of the adverb clause is present indefinite this year shows that it is not a general truth or universal fact so the principal clause must be in the future indefinite tense so here lies the error let us see in which segment does it fall 
the first segment this year it reflect badly yeah the error segment is number one so this is the right answer in place of reflect it must be it will reflect so no error on the government if the economy fails these three options are easily eliminated the correct sentence will be students if the economy fails this year it will reflect badly on the government let us come to question number three while dealing with a question asked in any competitive examinations you remember the concept follow the tricks as much as possible here in this question fill in the blank you are given four options and I will tell you of a trick that will immediately get you at the right option. The increasing concerns about climate change point to the need for enhanced efforts towards. Towards is a preposition. And the blank space. For the blank space, the words, the options given are those of verbs remember generally a preposition if it is followed by a verb the verb each in the form of a gerund that is ing form and you have only one option in this form that is number one so for this answer to achieve eliminated achieved not possible achieve impossible so whenever there is a verb after a preposition it must be in the form of a gerund ing main verb number four hence the right option of students is number one achieving the increasing concerns about climate change point to the need for enhanced efforts towards achieving sustained growth now let us come to question number four which is regarding one word substitution the words given to walk aimlessly the options are amble, crawl, sprint, slither. For this, you must have a very strong word power. Let us examine the options. Number one, amble means to walk at a slow, relaxed speed without any aim. So this is the right answer. But before marking it, let us check the others also crawl to move on hands and knees like a baby not possible very close to the ground just a quick ant number three a sprint to run a short distance at a very fast speed eliminated slither to move like a snake so the right answer students amble to walk at a slow relaxed speed crawl sprint and slither are easily eliminated now let us come to question number five regarding synonym a word is given in bold ostentatious with four options one showy two tasteful three sudden and four quick you must have a let me tell you again, you must have a very good, very strong word power. You must know the meaning of the given word ostentatious. It means showy, gaudy, artificial. Now, on the basis of this meaning, let us examine the options. Number one is the right option, showy. That matches with the meaning of the given word ostentatious. Tasteful, matchless, sudden, has nothing to do with this quick is also useless here so options two three and four are easily eliminated so thus students you must have good knowledge of grammatical concepts follow the tricks which i teach you and practice regularly 
we shall meet again in the fourth day in the next video best of luck thank you for watching